Hey, Coach, do you expect to have everybody except for Austin tomorrow? Uh, Austin and uh, Amari Spellman. Mike, Mike Vaccaro, New York Post. Hi, Tom. With, 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 hey, with, so many, with so many young players and are still kind of finding their way in the NBA, how much are you going to lean on Julius to kind of, you know, almost kind of be your lieutenant a little bit because he's got, you know, so much experience and obviously is a fairly accomplished player in the league. Yeah, and I, and I like, you know, the way Julius has been, you know, from the summer to all the practices and, and not only him, like we need a team of leaders. What Alfred has done, Alec Burke, a, a Reggie, um, they're real positive veterans and sometimes that's not always the case, but they come in every day, they practice hard, they play for the team. Um, and I think they're really good for our young guys. Uh, and so I, th I think, yeah, you don't wanna lean on just one guy. You, you wanna have a team of leaders. And I think we're starting to see that. Mark Berman, New York Post. Hey Tom, um, how close are you to a starting lineup that that may resemble what it was in Detroit those first two games with a couple of veterans sprinkled in there? Yeah, we're still sorting through it. As I mentioned, having a shortened preseason uh, with four games, we have a rotation, but it's not set in stone. And uh, we're still getting to see what groups play best together. Um, so we, ha we have an idea of what it might look like uh, uh, tomorrow night, but uh, you know, uh, again, you know, we're still finding our way with that. Steph Bonney, Daily News. Hey Tom, um, with, with Frank Nealakina, obviously he missed the um, last uh, two preseason games, but when he did play, I, it looked like he was mostly off the ball. Is that the position you envision for him moving forward? Well, the thing I like about him is that he can do both, and uh, the same thing with Quick. Uh, I think versatility, what we're seeing a lot of now is uh, you have a point guard, you have three wings, and you have a big. So it's not traditional like it has been in the past. And I like the fact that we have uh, point guards that can do that and, and quickly did that in college. And it's similar to uh, the way I use my guards in Chicago. Uh, and I think it, it's, it's a great advantage to have because defensively, Point guards are used to guarding guys off the dribble, and now you can put them in catch and shoot, getting around screens and that sort of thing. Uh, so sometimes you can gain an advantage that way. Uh, and then, of course, the rim reads are all the same for every player. So I think you can play guys. That, when you look at today's NBA, you, oftentimes you see more than one point guard on the floor, or you might see two combo guards on the floor together. So. Uh, that's what I do like about uh, our roster. Steve Popper, Newsday. Hey, Tom. After spending all that time soaking up sun on the beach last year, are you, uh, are you anxious, uh, you know, excited about this, or are you wishing you were back on the beach? Or? Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, it's, it's what you miss when you're away. And obviously, having time away gives you an opportunity to do different things, you know, to travel and visit with friends, family, and you don't have a set schedule. But after, uh, after a while, you, what you do miss is you miss the competition, you miss the camaraderie, uh, and then trying to solve the problems of you know, what a team is going through and the challenge of an NBA season. And so to be back, I'm excited about that. I think opening night for everyone is exciting and, you know, and it's just the beginning. And it's, a, it's a long season. Uh, and you want to focus on improvement and doing all the things that make this such a great sport. Mike Vorkin off the athletic. Um, in other sports like the NFL, they've kind of set up almost like a line of succession in case of, you know, someone gets COVID or something happens. Obviously, you guys are going to be playing the season during a pandemic. Have you done something similar with your staff and just kind of putting a plan in place in case, um, you know, the, the worst does happen? Yeah, I think, you, you know, you have to plan for everything. So, um, you know, and you watch what the other sports have done. 
and you have to be prepared for it. So there is a plan in place for all the possibilities and you're hopeful that, you know, you don't have to use it, but there is a plan. Mark Berman, New York Post. Hey Tom, uh, with Austin Rivers, did he ever actually have a, a practice on December, like that first day of group practices, was he already injured? Did he get injured during the individual uh, workouts? And also about um, Kid Gilchrist. I mean, he, he didn't get a chance to play any games. It was it tough to just cut him because you couldn't? Really yeah, well, I, I think you feel for all the veterans, and that's the challenge of the season. And Austin really hasn't had an opportunity to go through a full practice. Uh, and the you know, same thing with Michael. Uh, but you, and, and both guys are terrific pros and, and, and high character guys. And so you feel for them. Uh, and then, you know, as a team, you have to do all the things that are necessary to get yourself prepared to play. And so, and that was one of the things we talked about in the opening meeting was everyone has to be ready because of all the circumstances that we're dealing with. And whether it's sickness, injury, uh, foul trouble, you're going to need your whole team throughout the course of the season. And everyone has to be ready when their opportunity comes. We have time for two more questions. The next one comes from Steph Bondi, the Daily News. Hey, Tom, I imagine um, you don't want to tell us your starting lineup or where you're leaning, unless you do. But um, uh, can, can you give us a hint on what your what type of things you're debating or what, what kind of things you're looking for in the starting group? Yeah, you know, and we're still – we actually meet every day about rotation. And it's, and it's pretty tight, you know, so – It'll sort itself out as we go along, but you have to base it on performance and merit and what guys have done. And so we have a pretty good idea of who the 10 are. And then the question will become, who do we start? And there's a couple of positions that are basically 50-50 type of positions. So uh, we're still evaluating that. And our last question comes from Ian Begley, SNY. Yeah, Tom, just oh, what are your, your work days like now compared to what they were in Minnesota when you had the uh, team president duties in addition to the coaching duties, whereas now you're just coaching? Like, is there a different work day now for you? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it, it was, you know, that's it is a lot to do both. So, obviously, I prefer this. Uh, and Leon and Wes and Scott can – deal with all the other stuff the, uh, that goes into that. But it's, you know, I, I, I don't regret it. I thought it was an opportunity to, to learn, and, and I did. I learned a lot of things. And so um, that's life. You move on, get ready for the next challenge, and I'm excited about being here.